What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooter Marina. I got Miss Cat here from Marius. She's gonna show us some of the new XR lights that's just coming out on the market. Miss Cat, appreciate you being with us. Sure. What you got for me? Here. Hey guys, how you doing? So coming up on the line soon, we've started to go down the route of the canister lights. Um, we basically got three options available. Um, depending on what type of diving you're doing, we'll pretty much determine which kind of light that you actually wanted. So basically we're starting off, they're all called DCT. Then we've got the DCTS, which basically has a slightly smaller canister. We've got the standard DCT, and then this one up here is a DCTV. Basically, think of it as DCTS meaning small, DCTV meaning video lamp. Awesome. So those are the, the three basically different ones that we've got. Why we've gone for the three different ones? So we've got a larger canister, which is basically taking three batteries inside of it. And then the side mount divers wanted to have a slightly smaller canister for making better positioning running horizontally on the bottom of their back. And we found that with the three battery version, just the length, a little bit of dimension was slightly too long. So this is why the smaller one with the two batteries has been designed for that. I mean, anybody can use it. It doesn't have to be just for the side mount divers, right. but just slightly smaller dimensions. We have the two different heads so basically the one on the right hand side so the dctv this has got like a, an angle of like 120 degrees so what you'll notice with that one is that you don't really get this this spotlight it's a much wider angle so you've got a nice even light the other one basically it's more in the overhead environment if you want to do really spotlight communication this one kind of works nice as well um, in terms of weight in the water, all of them are coming in between like 230, 200 grams. You see this little baby here being slightly lighter than that. Okay? So if you compare it to a lot of other products and other canisters on the market, you find it's considerably lighter than most of those out there. Um, one little cool design feature on the canister itself, I can roll that around a little bit. So obviously you're going to be sliding it a lot of people onto a harness on the side. And what you inevitably find is that they could move around. So one of the easiest options to deal with that is obviously to take like the weight belt buckle and hold it in position. But by having these two grooves, you basically thread it onto the harness itself and then that actually fixes it in place. So you don't need to have then any other type of fixing mechanism there. Keeps tension on the belt itself. Exactly yep. that, yeah, it just really holds them nicely in one position there. Um, the material is made out of, and I do have to keep kind of stroking it a little bit. <laughs> so it's like airplane um, anodized aluminium. Yep, really smooth, really robust. So you know you can throw this thing around, and it's not going to be scratching or anything like that. But you can touch it. Yeah, you know. definitely. <laughs> it's a really nice one, right? Um, simple for opening. Just screw on the end. It actually has, if you can get in close there, so basically triple O-rings. So all of that really helping to keep it waterproof, yeah? And when we open it up inside, we just pop it out, and the batteries are then inside. And these okay. are all rechargeable, correct? These are all rechargeable, and actually when you purchase the lamp, uh, it will come in a box with the charger, with the, it's got a USB charger to it and a mains charger to it as well. So all of that then comes with it. And as a, as a general rule of thumb, I guess from like a completely empty, so a full charge, you're looking about maybe five hours, something like that. So for most places where you're gonna go diving, you know, if you've got a surface interval, you've got enough time to charge it up. Um, when we're looking at the heads themselves, all three of them have actually got a, a five mil, uh, basically reinforced glass. So, you know, accidents can happen, the head gets dropped. Um, so this is reinforced glass. So um, structural integrity of it is really quite high. Um, other things about them in terms of burn times, so all of the torches have got four settings on them Which is basically adjusted by a simple push button on the head itself This means you can store the canister wherever you want if you want to have it on the harness if The side mount divers have got it behind you don't have to worry to reach the canister to switch it on or off The on or off is on the head itself So four basically levels of brightness on the strongest level We've got a burn time on this one here of about one hour on the highest setting because this one's got luminums of about 3,400 and then on these two um, lumens about 3,200 so slightly less so on full power we've got a burn time of about two hours. 
Um, what is also quite interesting then on the lowest setting is that it really it has such an extended time where we're talking in excess of like 20, 25 hours on the lowest setting. Yeah. Um, other things to, to know about it, okay, it comes with the Goodman handle, simple screws on the side so it's, it's easy to put together, then just take a bolt snap so you can then uh, pretty much flip it off. Cool deal. Yeah. Well, Ken, I definitely appreciate you going over that with no us. Much We're definitely going to start carrying these in the shop awesome. as soon as they come available. But yeah, Guys, if you like this light, you want to see a more in-depth review once we get in, give me a simple like down below. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Come on. <laughs>